Hi friends, Dr. Tim Garcia coming to you from my chiropractic wellness center here in Ventura County and I want to have a, a little discussion, a little a brief presentation on my ideas and uh, not just my ideas but some of the facts about immunization, vaccination, your health, and the swine flu. First of all, understand that our body prepares a, a fight against an invading virus, bacteria, fungus. Usually uh, the pathogen, the germ entering in the mucosa area of the, uh, the nose, the mouth, the lungs, and what, perhaps what you eat through the alimentary canal. This is the mucosa of our body where the, the body recognizes uh, a foreign invader, a germ, a disease. And from there, the immunoglobulins are set up, A and E are set up, and um, from there, the body orchestrates a very sophisticated natural response to fight a disease. And the natural barriers, again, are the mucosa and the skin. However, when you think about the vaccination and immunization, it's not the same thing. When you vaccinate somebody for a, a disease, not only are they rendering or are they introducing the germ and the pathogen to your body, bypassing your natural barriers of the skin or the mucosa directly into your body, and that's going to short circuit your natural immune response, and your body's going to be tricked and perhaps even go into hyperdrive and set up an excessive immune response by the chemicals and the other things that are in the, the vaccine. So it's uh, estimated that the increase of autoimmune disease, allergies, autism, juvenile, diabetes, learning disabilities are related to the toxic level of chemicals in our children, adults as well. Lots of times you may not see anything in childhood. It may take years for things to develop. This is information that I've learned, that I've read, and that I've uh, studied. And there's information out there for anybody. Um, so before you have an opinion, get informed. And one of the resources you can be informed yourself uh, on is the National Vaccine Information Center. Uh, .org or .com, I'm not sure, but it's there, and a ton of resources and information. So at least arm yourself with the information of vaccines, natural immun immunity, which is letting your body fight the disease by itself. Consider how in a, let's say, an office of uh, 10 people and a few get sick, whereas the others do not get sick. Why is that? Why does one person get sick and the other person does not? And the answer is in the immune system. The person that has a better immune system will be able to naturally fight any disease, naturally regenerate, naturally enjoy better health, and there are things you can do to bolster your immune system. Uh, number one is drink plenty of water. Number two is get plenty of rest. That's when your body regenerates. Number three is stay off the processed foods, the high sugar and the high grains and high carbohydrates because it turns to sugar. Um, vegetables, high vegetables. There's other things, but these are general ones. Get plenty of sunshine and exercise and get your, your spine checked because the nervous system controls the immune system and the nervous system runs right through your spine and it's no small deal everybody this is the power of chiropractic it, it's, there's a study shown that your immune system actually is improved with chiropractic adjustments because the spine is the conduit to the, the nervous system, the spinal cord it only makes sense so inform yourselves, make the right decision, and this is information for everybody. Dr. Tim Garcia coming to you from my chiropractic wellness center here in Ventura County. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're here to help.